Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Business Analytics. What's new in OBIE 11.119 for Oracle BI Repository Builders? Some of the new features for repository builders include the ability to check out the whole RPD as an option for multi-user. There's improvements to the aggregate persistence, initialization blocks written in JSON for selection step, translation keys for the presentation layer, some new administration tool options, scripting to upgrade the data direct drivers, Cloudera and Pala support, access to Hyperion planning as a data source, some expanded Oracle 12C database support, and finally, Microsoft Windows 8.1 is now supported for the administration tool. A few of these we will go into further detail on the slides to continue. Improvements to the aggregate persistence within the RPD include the summary advisor now including the use of surrogate keys. This is selected by default. This option improves the performance of surrogate key creation and allows the aggregate persistence to create aggregations for levels non-unique. There's also the autocorrect or hardening of level keys that are not unique. We now have the ability to create aggregates for logical dimensions with unbalanced or ragged and skip level hierarchies. It also creates chronological keys for the time levels without chronological keys. We have the ability now to store actual column values counted on distinct values. And finally, the Summary Advisor now includes a command line utility. A new feature within the end user experience of OBIE is the ability to set presentation and repository variable override in the selection steps. In order to do that, the initialization block needs to be written in JSON rather than in SQL, which is normal for relational data sources. The JSON format, or the JavaScript object notation format, is shown to take that syntax and apply it to the business model and presentation layer. Translation keys have been added to the presentation column and tables. The translation key is automatically populated by default. It matches the object's name, it can be modified, and when the display names are externalized, the result contains the new translation key. Two new options within the Administration Tool Options menu are the ability to display the translation key within the presentation tree. By default, this is turned off. Additionally, the ability to then edit these names. By default, again, this is turned off. Support for the Cloudera Impala Big Data is done within DataDirect drivers. I would recommend reading further on configuring the USB drivers for Impala database. For EPM planning users, there is a new connection for Hyperion planning. It makes use of the ADM adapter. In the screen shown, you can see the database connection type and then the call interface. In 11.117, HFM became an importable data source to OBIE. Now, planning has been added to the available data sources. When Hyperion planning is imported, multiple columns to support the measures of different data type are added. Measures specific to HFM are not imported. And attribute properties for additional sub-properties such as read-only, these properties are now also added as additional columns. To access the function specific for planning and HFM, you will need to use the evaluate predicate. This allows you to make access to the period offset, the NA suppression functions, base functions, common children, and user defined functions. Some of the expanded Oracle 12C support include support for Oracle 12C database and memory, 12C database on Exadata, 12C database in memory on Exadata. There's also support for compression, including the Exadata hybrid columnar compression and in-memory Oracle database features.